Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. Today we are back with a, another prayer journaling prompt and we are actually going to be talking about Daniel and the lion's den. And you may kind of wonder how does this have anything to do with our prayer journal prompt? If you look closely, you will see that today's prayer journaling prompt talks about us getting rid of things that are preventing us from drawing closer to the Lord. And when I think about that, as I'm going through my Bible and I'm reading in Daniel chapter six about Daniel and the lion's den, and I'm thinking about all of the different situations that were unfolding, you see that the officials were trying to find something wrong. The king was devastated. He did not want to have to put Daniel in the lion's den, but what ultimately happened was actually God's good and perfect will for Daniel and he trusted in the Lord. That is exactly what God is calling us to do. The king returned to his palace and he spent the night fasting. He refused to entertain his usual activities. He couldn't even sleep. He was so distraught. The things that have come between you and the Lord, the things that are preventing you from going all in for the Lord is kind of like the situation with Daniel and the lion's den and the fact that if Daniel would have fixed his eyes on his circumstance, his physical situation that he was in the midst of, certainly Certainly Daniel would have been devastated. Certainly Daniel would have been distraught. He did not bow down to the king. He did not stop praying to the one true God, but he kept the faith. He didn't look at the lion, but he looked towards the lamb. Maybe you today are struggling with different areas, just as Daniel found himself in the midst of a battle. Do I bow down to this king? Do I stop praying to my God? What do I do? Instead of Daniel bowing down to other gods, by stopping praying to the one true God. He pushed through. He laid aside the things that would have been so easy for him to turn to, right? It would have been so easy for him to just stop praying for the 30 days, as the scripture said. But Daniel pushed through. He put his trust in God, and he knew that God was going to come through just as he had every single time before. And that is the takeaway from today is that we need to lay aside the things that so easily beset us in our race. We need to dive into the word of God. We need to be more like Daniel today in the midst of every single thing that we are facing today. We must remember that Daniel prayed to the one true God, just as we need to be praying to the one true God. Another thing that I want to point your your eyes to today as we're looking at this is, are you looking back at situations maybe that you've struggled with before? What is your perception? What is your perception of your problem? See, if Daniel in the midst of the lion's den would have focused on the mouth of the lion, if he would have been looking and pondering and thinking about what could have been, what might have been, what should have been, in the midst of his situation, surely he would have fell into worry and anxiety and grief. But what I want you to focus on today is that in the midst of that, his perspective shifted. He ran to the Lord in that moment. He was faithful to God and did not stop praying to him. He pushed forward to the cross. He remained faithful to the God of his forefathers. He was faithful there are so many distractions that have us pulled in countless different directions on earth. Are you looking to the lion, my friends? Or are you looking at the lamb? That's the question for today. Comment below and let me know. Lion or lamb today? In the midst of everything that you are facing, are you going to remain like Daniel? Or are you going to fall into the anxiety and the temptation to just worry over the situation because there is nothing too big for our God. I want to be like Daniel. I want to be faithful to God. No matter what, I want to remain like Daniel. When I think about all things, I'm asking the Lord in this prayer prompt, God, reveal to me what all the things are. What are the things that are preventing me? Daniel did not allow the things of his day to distract him from his purpose. And God, there is absolutely nothing worth losing my soul. Nothing worth losing my salvation today. 
in our prayer journaling prompt. Today, I believe that as we focus on Daniel and we focus on the lion's den, that if we will keep our eyes always focused on what Daniel was focused on, the king, he will show up for us every time. Go ahead and check in the description box below. You'll find March's prayer journal prompt videos that I am preparing with the journal. Pick that up if you'd like to come alongside us in this journey. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Stay kingdom-minded in all you do. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.